What's up everybody and here I am bringing y'all an update video for y'all. A VHS DVD Blu-ray update for June 18th, 2018. Yesterday is Father's Day which I hope y'all enjoying it. And of course while Father's Day yesterday, I also went to out of town which in Bayou Village in North York, to which I already went there since yesterday, and I picked up four features tapes, one DVD, and one Blu-ray. And today I received one features and one DVD, to which I already ordered since last two weeks. Then this, wait, hold on a minute. Yep, last two weeks and Friday. And also, I've been still waiting for one features to come from eBay, which, which still has not come yet, but I will list it down in the comment below in this video. So, of course, as for one features and one DVD, I ordered them both on last two weeks, which Friday, and they both came today. And as for another features, I also ordered it, which last two weeks on Friday, but this still has not come in yet, so I will list it down in the comment below in this video that which still has yet to come. So, for out for any further ado, let's begin with today's update video right now. So, beginning with four tapes to which I got them from Valley Village in North York yesterday. So, this first, this is the 1993 features of Alive. Thrilling and hard stopping says Newsweek. They were ordinary young men driving to the very limits of human and ignorance based on a true story. An incredible film about the power of the human spirit says ABC Radio Network. Rated R. The running time is 126 minutes. Recommended this adventure to friends. One out of two. Next. The 1998 features of The Call of the Wild, The Dog of Yukon. This is the 1997 film. And as for this one, Alive, this one's the... Wait, wait, let me think. Oh, this one could be a 1992 movie or 1993 movie for this movie. Like, maybe, I don't know. If everybody knows what year this movie's from, please list it down in the comments. Right. If I haven't really said so, sorry about it. Four stars says NY Post from Jack London's Root Rootger Hower, the classic adventure of love, loyalty, and survival of the fittest. This one is originally from 1998. Like that VHS one, but this is a re-release. I'm gonna tell you why in a minute once if I show you the actual tape itself. Best version of Jack London's classic story of survival says NY Post. Rated PG for violence in language and the running time is 91 minutes. And this VHS is totally recycled tape. But, however, instead of one or two, this one has three print dates, which are pretty cool. Here's two of them right here. October 27th, 2002, November 8th, 2002, and the 39th week of 1999. So yes, like I said, this is definitely recycled features. And of course, as you can see, the label says to bust it too, which of course say we print. But I have not checked the opening to this tape yet, because I was so busy with other things, so I of course didn't check the opening to this tape yet. 
So, like I said, this BHS was originally from 1998, but as for the label, it says Tabasa 2, so I'm not sure what previews are going to have in this tape. So I, of course, might have to check the opening to this tape once after I'm done in this update video. So, yeah. Alright, next, my another Warner Brothers Hits tape. The 1990... Hmm, let me see. Ha! Ah. The 1997 features of A Cry in the Dark, 1988 movie from Merrily, Sam, and Streep Nail. My Warner Brothers hits tape, all of them which I already have, are in Canadian copies, but my first Warner Brothers hits tape, which I already have, is an American USA copy, and of course, that has a 1997 Warner Home Video logo on a vertical stick label. You're going to see that in a little bit in a sec. A gripping movie that doesn't let go says Jin Hee, Shane Hates, Today NBC TV. Director Fred Pepsi, Roxani the Rachia House transforms true events into a revelatory movie that's an out and out. Nervy Drangler, the story of the Chamberlains, will hunt you long after a cry in the dark ends. Rated PG-13, the running time is 122 minutes. See? 1997 won a home video logo on a vertical stick label, which is pretty cool. March 26, 1998. Even though this is the 1997 VHS. Yep. And of course, my first ever Warner Brothers hits tape, which I already have, that uses the 1997 Warner Home Video logo on it on the beginning of the tape. Yeah, because since my Canadian Warner Brothers hits VHS, which I already have, this still uses the 1986 Warner Home Video logo. But as for this Warner Brothers hits tape, since this tape is an American copy, this definitely uses the 1997 Warner Home Video logo at the beginning of the tape. So this will be my first Warner Brothers Hits tape to use the 1997 Warner Home vi Video logo at the beginning of the tape since that one's, that one's an American copy. Alright, last one, which I got this one from Vi Village from North York yesterday. The 2000 BHS of... Gladiator from Russell Crowley. Four stars says Andrew Johnston, US Weekly. Dazzling Spectacular says David Usen, Newsweek. This BHS was a former rental from Blockbuster, but unfortunately, y'all don't see the sticker on it. But, like, oh well. And this movie is from 1999, if I haven't really said so. The general who became a slave. The slave who became a gladiator. The gladiator who defeated an empire. Russell Crowley is simply magic fun sentient, says Jonathan Foreman, New York Post. Hmm... I don't know what rating this movie's from, so I'm guessing it's rated PG or rated G or rated PG-13 or rated R, like whatever. If everybody knows, please list them down in the comments. Two hours and... Two hours and 35 minutes. And there was, used to be in Blockbuster and Label, but I've decided to peel it off to find out what the print day was. And unfortunately, as you can see, the label's all messed up. Since if it was because of me, I peeled it off. Since because to find the print day was. But as for the print date, I find it very easily, easily to rip, to peel it off. And y'all can see it. Yep. Yep, this label, this end label is very messed up and ripped and torn because of me that I ripped it. It's because I wanted to see the print day what it was. And it was printed on October 30th, 2000. This tape's printed a day before one day of Halloween of 2000. Right? 
All right, and now we're going to begin starting up the feed chest, which I got from eBay today. And now, you may remember that I have the 2003 Hitler Timid reprint feed chest of To The Rescue, right? If y'all still do not remember, then I'll show you what it looked like. And it was this one. Yep, this is from Hit Entertainment. Yep, this one's the 2003 Hit Entertainment features. Let me get these. Oh my god. Yep. And now. I finally got the 2001 Hit Home Entertainment and Lyric Studio Speed Chess of Bob the Builder to the rescue. Yes, I finally got this tape. I didn't get a chance to order it since if I was so busy with other stuff, but I finally got the original 2001 Speed Chess of this, finally. Hmm, seems to me that I've already read the episodes for y'all since back in August 28th of 2017, but I'm gonna read the episodes to y'all again, just in that case. The episodes, Clock Tower Bob, Scoop Saves the Day, Muck Gets Stuck, Lofty to the Rescue, Plus Four Media Adventures, Muck's, Muck's Mood, Sleepless Lofty, Muck's Shortcut, and Lofty the Soccer Star. The running time is 45 minutes. Mm. You're almost seeing it. Just hold on. There we go. June. There we go. Oh my god. Oh, sorry, just. There we go. June 27th, 2001. Yeah, it was so hard for y'all to see, but you already did see it, by the way. By the way, if I haven't really said so. So yes, the 2001 feed chest, I finally got this one. Alright, and now that's for the all five feed chests, and now for the two DVDs. This next one... This is the DVD that I got from Valley Village in North York yesterday. The 2002 DVD of Bob the Builder, Can We Fix It? I also have the 2001 Hit Home Entertainment and Lyric Studio speeches of this. Hmm. I'm not going to bother reading the episodes for y'all again because I already did. If I show you the... To Buzz One, Lyric Studios, and Hit Home Entertainment features of this since back in May 4th of 2018. So, yeah, but I can let you all pause the video and read them if you want to. 45 minutes. Here's the DVD. And of course, it's just, it's just if you all want to see my face, there we go. And unfortunately, Mm, oh my God. Yeah, I bet y'all can barely see. Mm, yep, this one has... Yep, this one has light scratches. So I'm not sure what good this DVD is going to play. Or as such, for my birthday, I'm thinking about getting a GFG Easy Pro disc repair machine. So yeah, that's what I may have to do is get my GFG Easy Pro disc repair machine for my birthday, and that's what I may have to do is this. But to be honest, but to be honest, I don't know if I'm gonna get a GFG Easy Pro disc repair machine for my birthday, but I may have to think. But hopefully, my chance is to get my GFG Easy Pro disc repair machine for my birthday soon. Hopefully, I will. Alright, next DVD, this one I got from Amazon.com today, which I ordered it last two weeks on Friday, like I said. And this was brand new sealed, which I was gonna let you all see me unbox this DVD. But unfortunately, since that's because of the title, the white thing was on top. And like, on these thinging over here, 
I've decided to open up my camera since if I do not want to let this video take too long. But this is the 2006 DVD of Teletubbies Blue Sky. I also have the extremely rare 2006 features of this, so I've decided to get this one on DVD. And I of course didn't get a chance to get more Teletubbies DVDs for my long time. Yep, as y'all may remember, back in June 19th of 2017, I got the Teletubbies DVD from Walmart, and it's the Teletubbies 20th Anniversary Classic Fan Favorites episodes, that DVD which I got in from Walmart, back in June of 2017, and after that, I didn't bother get my chance to pass it up by getting a lot of more Teletubbies DVDs for my long time. So I've decided to pass it up by ordering this DVD, and hopefully my chance is to order more Teletubbies DVDs. Hopefully I will soon. Hopefully I will. Special DVD features. The Teletubbies have fun watching children making flowers. Then Tinka Winky, Dipsy, Lala, and Poe look to see where everything has gone. Special features not rated. Not rated, and it's 58 minutes. Just to let you all know, like I said, because of that white thing on top of here, and like over here, I've decided to get it out since I was, I was opening up this new sealed thing, plastic shrink wrap opened up by camera, and that's what I already did before the update video. So, of course... Here is the DVD, and also unfortunately, yeah, I don't know what the heck this happens. I got this DVD brand new, but as such, I don't know what good this DVD is going to play. Hmm, I think, I think this DVD should play fine. Like, let me think. Yep, I think this DVD should work and play great. I think it might will. And it came with this ad for a Kinder Start search engine because kids don't come with instructions. And it came with this parent's guide for all of Tatabi's videos and DVDs. I have the 2004 Paramount Home Entertainment reprint features of Teletubbies Look, but I of course didn't get a chance to order the 2003 One at Home video features of this from eBay since I was so busy with other stuff, but hopefully in this Friday to order the 2003 One at Home video features of this soon, hopefully. And I also have the 2004 Paramount Home Entertainment reprint features of this, on VHS, which I already have still, and as for again, again, yep, I already have this, which is on Canadian copy, but as such, I may still have to get a new copy, because since my old copy, again, again, like this one, which I already have, is still damaged, it never works. And as for the Hero Comes to Teletubbies, I have the 1998 features of this, but I do not have the Nights 99 re-release features of this, and I do not have the 2004 Paramount Home Entertainment reprint features of this, but hopefully I can still find them. Hopefully I will. And of course, for the Magic Pumpkin and other stories, I have the 2004 Paramount Home Entertainment reprint features of this, and as for the Christmas in the Snow, I have this one in the 2004 Paramount Home Entertainment reprint features of this, and I have the 2001 Home Video copy of it, but my 2001 Home Video copy features of this, which I already had, it had one tape instead of two tapes, which was very dumb, which I may have to get a new copy that has two tapes, and that's what I may have to do is this, right? Alright, now let me get this back in. So, of course, like I said, for this DVD, I think this DVD is going to play great. So, yeah, I think this DVD is going to play work. Hmm, oh my god. Yep, I think this DVD is going to play fine. I think it might work. So, I think, yeah, this DVD is going to work very great. 
All right, and now for the one Blu-ray, the Too Buzzy 11 Blu-ray of Mr. Popper's Penguins from Jim Carrey. This is a Too Buzzy 11 movie. Hilarious and heartwarming, says Pete Hammond, box office mag mag magazine. I love a lot of movies from Jim Carrey because he's really funny and really weird. The family comedy you've been waiting for says Jenny Wolf, Jenny Wolf Hollywood.com. Hmm. I know it might be too hard for y'all to see what Blu ray spec connections and DVD spec connections are, but. Or actually, never mind. Y'all can see them right now. But I, of course, I don't think I may have time to read them. But as for this one, I may say it, and this might include Nimrod, Stinkies, and Turnaranic Adventure, all new animated shorts. Hmm. Oh, that's just great. I really do not know what rating this movie was, so I may have to check. Hmm. Let me check. Hmm. Hmm. I do not know what rating this movie's from. If everybody knows what rating this movie's from, please list them down in the comments. Hmm. Let's see if I can. Oh, great. Now I've started to screw up this update video right now. Yeah, I started to screw up this right now. I apologize. That's because I was being so hard. I do not what's gone into me. There is the running time. 94 minutes. Yeah, I've got screwed up in this video right now. I do not know why. Here's the Blu-ray disc. And the DVD. And another one. But this one's a digital copy. Very cool. And as for the code. Hmm, I might have to look up for the expiry date. Hmm, let me see. Hmm. I don't know when this is expired or not, but believe in myself, I really do not want this code, so I could let you all pass it up, but I really do not know if this code have may might be an expired or not, but whatever. All right, and now that's going to end for my VHS DVD Blu-ray update for June 18th, 2018. Done. That's it. I will see you all later, everybody. Have a great day.